Ah, Quando, it's always good to catch up, bro. But I gotta head out now. I got a lot of errands to take care of back at home. Hey, what the heck are you doing here, officer? Well, Sonny, you're parked in an illegal spot. So, I wrote you up a ticket. Are you kidding me? There's nothing illegal about this spot. I'm just on the curb. Actually, if you look right here, one of your tires is slightly crossing the white line. Therefore, I am legally allowed to prescribe you a ticket. And this is why no one likes you. You officer melon now scram get away from my car do you just hit a police officer that's it i should take you in for this this is five baton hits one you're gonna kill me officer you're lucky i'm in a good mood only one baton hit for you today i can't believe melon he really gave me a parking ticket for that dude i was like two inches off the line quandale you're not gonna believe this i just got a parking ticket what a jerk i always park there that's what i'm saying and Anytime I visit you, that's where I pull up as well. Is there anything you've got that I can use to get back at him? Now that you ask, I got this handheld hacking device. I will lend you for a couple of pranks. Quandale, that's a no-brainer. Give me that hacking device. And besides, how did you even get something like that? Well, that's something you should never ask of me. Just do a couple of pranks. But whatever you do, don't overuse it. Okay, okay, I won't overuse it. Thank you for the hacking device. And it even came with an instruction manual. Thanks, Quandale. Let's see, what does this say? Hacker manual. Take thingy in hand. Think of hack. Use thingy. Enjoy. <laughs> Quandale, this is awesome. Let me just test it out really fast. I'm thinking of a hack. Yeah, that would be awesome. Turn Quandale's base into gold. No way. It actually worked. You're welcome, Quandale. Now, for the pranks. Let me think about it. Here it is. The police station. And look who it is. Big Man Melon. Looks like he's about to go out on a mission. Apparently, somebody was illegally parking. I've got to write them up a huge ticket. Now, imagine I use the hacking device to spawn a wall and cause him to crash. Where is this, Parker? Ah! Wait. Oh, where'd this wall come from? But at least my car didn't explode. Ah! Yo, Melon just fell out of the world. I think the wall worked. Let me see the damage. Should be right about here. <laughs> Bro, what? What are you doing at my crash site, Sonny? Uh, nothing, officer. I was just investigating it. Yeah, I wanted to make sure everything was okay and nothing sus was happening. Oh, I'll make sure nothing sus is happening with you. You're coming to prison. I'm investigating you. But, but, but why? What did I do? For being sus. Now come with me, or I'll hit you twice! Okay, fine, just take me to jail. Follow me. <laughs> now that I've wrongfully, I mean, rightfully imprisoned you, uh, I'm gonna just uh, conclude my investigation and say you're guilty. I don't know what you did, but you did something. This is totally illegal! You can't just arrest people because you feel like it. That's it. Goats, time to use the hacking device. I'm gonna switch places with Melon. I am the lo Wait, what the heck just happened? What? That's right! You arrested the wrong person! Oh, what the heck did you just do? I knew I had the right person! What do you mean? You totally did something to make me crash! I wasn't responsible for your crash, or whatever just happened here. I guess karma really is a thing. And it knew you were responsible for your own accident. That's why you're under arrest. Bro, that makes no sense whatsoever. Whatever, I'm out of here. Have fun behind bars, sucker. I literally saw you whip out an item! Once I get out of here, I'll put you under permanent arrest! Life in prison, sonny! Smell you later, Melon! Thanks for letting me out, Police Steve. We've got a criminal to catch, and his name's Sonny. It's time for Scooter Melon to find this rascal. Okay, goats, I suspect Melon's gonna investigate my home, so it's time to make a few distractions. I think I'll spawn in some Sunny clones. And that's my first Sunny clone. Up next, I gotta place one inside of my house. I'm thinking right about here. Excellent, another diversion. And then one final Sunny clone will be upstairs in my my bedroom right here. Beautiful. Melon will be so confused. And the whole time, I will be following him with invisibility. Yes, it's time for me to disappear. 
Oh, that is awesome. Now I wait. First things first, Sonny's probably chilling at home. That idiot. I'm gonna find him, rough him up, and take him to prison. There he is. Bro, this guy's an idiot. Check it out. Melon's here. I knew he'd show up to my house. That's it, Sonny. You're coming with me to prison. You have nothing to say for yourself? Yo, goats, check this out. I'm gonna tickle him. <laughs> Ow. You dare hit me. Die. Uh... Oh my goodness, Melon is way more aggressive than I realized. He just killed that clone. Wait, nothing popped up in chat. Was that even the real Sonny? Uh, whatever. I don't really know what's going on. Sonny, if you respawn in here, I swear. Sonny, you're here again, bro. I'm very lost right now. You're coming with me to prison. Why are you looking away from me? Uh, take this. Again, I just one-tapped him. Something's super off with Sonny. It's almost like... He's not real. Goats, I'm just gonna keep following Melon. I'm literally breathing down his neck. <sighs> oh, who's making that sound? Uh, whatever. I know he's in here somewhere. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Goats, I'm pranking him with this invisibility. This is so much fun. There you are, Sonny. Respawned at your bed after I killed you twice, huh? Okay, he's being weird again. Die! And he didn't even respawn here. You know what? I'm I'm pretty sure none of those Sonnies were real. He's up to something, and it's sus. I don't like it. I'm out of here. Goats, looks like Melon's leaving, which means I can finally relax. Let's turn off the invisibility. Time to use the device to spawn some cakes. Beautiful. What? What the heck did you just do? What is that device? Uh, Melon, you startled me. I thought you left. Not good. Not good. Get back here. You can't run from me. I have a scooter. Watch me run. I gotta go. I gotta go. Whoa, you're fast with that thing, but you can't hit me when you're on it. Bro, dang it, dude. The turning radius on this thing is so huge. Where do I go? What do I do? That's it. I've gotta parkour my way out of here. Just broke his ankles. Let's go. You ain't break nothing. Oh, Melon, it'd be a real shame if a brick wall appeared in front of you. <laughs> Gotta go. That was you. I don't know what you're talking about. That's it. I need a distraction. Time to spawn a Melon clone. Perfect. There he is. And now we'll make the getaway down to the sewers. Sonny, get back here. Wait, what the heck is this? Ow, why is he attacking me? Sonny just cloned me and I'm aggressive. That's it. I'll show you who the real Melon is. It's me. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> the melon clone distraction, it worked. And now I'm gonna hack this silver fish to make it huge. Check it out, giant sewer rat. Now I gotta dip, now I gotta dip. The sewer maintenance shaft. Hack the door, unlock it, let's go. Sonny, get back here. What is that? Ah, it's a giant silver fish. What is this? Die. Oh my goodness, that was scary. I gotta get out of here. Come on, door, unlock, unlock. Wait, I'll just use the hacking device. Unlock the door. Uh, Quandale, what are you doing here? Okay, Sonny, you had enough fun. Give me back the device. It shouldn't be used that much. But, 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 but Quandale, I don't want to give this up. It's so much fun pranking Melon. And speaking of Melon, he's after me. I gotta move. Fine, Quandale, just take it. Quandale, where'd Sonny go? He ran off, but he was using a hacking device, but I confiscated it. That's all evidence you need. Thank you. Quandale. Sonny, get back here! Wait, I could just probably hack him into prison. What's happening? Dang it! How did he just teleport me into prison? Oh no, don't tell me. You have the hacking device. Of course I do. You were causing way too much tomfoolery. So Quandale handed it over. This thing is actually awesome though, Sonny. Let's see, what does this do? Uh, whoa, what's a hacked dimension? No, Melon, Melon, don't press that button. Don't press that button. Uh, Sonny, what did I just do? Bro, you brought us to the illegal hacker dimension. I hope you're proud. <sighs> that was the one thing you're not supposed to do. Well, I didn't know. No one gave me an instruction manual. Well, 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 I found the thieves. Uh, Melon, do you recognize that voice? Uh, I do. It sounds familiar, but I don't think in a good way, Sonny. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. Sonny and Melon, I should have known. Well, now you will learn what happens when you steal from me. Wait, what do you mean steal from you? We had no idea you were even involved in this mess. That's my hacking device. You're telling me Quandale stole your hacking device. Oh, no, Melon. This is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Ha 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 
Oh no, this is what happens when Sonny doesn't listen to me. Actually, you should all listen to me and click that like and subscribe. And just like that, our house is redecorated for the Halloween season. Dude, this is awesome and totally spooky. Yeah, Melon. What's your favorite part about our new decorations? I gotta say, transforming this tree into a soul tree was beautiful. That is pretty cool. Personally, I like this the best. We've got a little skeleton dungeon down here. No way, bro. And there's so many Larrys down there. Yeah, and I forgot our our staircase even has eyeballs. Check it out. Yo, that is scary. They're gonna be looking at my feet. Dang, rat. I'm gonna make them smell my feet too. Yeah, give that a little whiff. <sighs> Sonny, they're just eyeballs. They can't smell anything. Oh, true. Whatever, bro. Let's tell some scary stories for the Halloween season. Oh, if we're telling scary stories, we've got to do it around a campfire. You're right, bro. Back here. Or a grill. A grill should do. Yeah, it's close enough to a campfire. Sonny, wait. Uh, why, why are you sleeping? Oh, I was just getting comfortable for the stories. Okay, well... Let me tell you this story. Once upon a time, there was a melon. And then, after there was a melon, there was a man named Sonny. And he said some terrible things to this melon. And you know what the melon said back? Yes, Sonny. Put me in the blender and juice me up. No, he, he didn't say that at all. Oh, my bad. I, I thought that was the story. I thought it was a blender story. No, Sonny, you threatened the melon. And then the melon gave him a great warning. A warning about a swamp. A swamp nearby that contains a portal. No way. There's a swamp nearby with a portal? Okay, Melon, I gotta check this out. I know you're in the middle of a scary story, but I gotta, I gotta see it. No, no, you, you don't understand, Sonny. Let me finish my story. The portal will suck you in, and then you'll die. Yeah, right. I don't believe you. Going to a spooky portal. This is gonna be awesome. I'll probably get superpowers. Well, good thing I just made up that story. <laughs> Sonny's an idiot. I think this is the swamp. Now, now, I don't see any portals, though. Plus, even if there is a portal, there's no way it could just zuck me in. There is a portal. And <laughs> no, I can't control my body. Why am I slowly getting pulled towards it? I won't do it. I gotta, I gotta run away. But I can't run. It's pulling me backwards. Oh, no. Ah! What the heck? Where am I? This place looks cursed. And what's up with my hand? Oh, no. I've turned into a Halloween pumpkin. This looks like some kind of hideout for the undead. Maybe Maybe Melon was right. I shouldn't have gone near that portal. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind sending me back home? No can do. Once you step in the swamp portal, there's no leaving. Unless you can complete the impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the impossible? I'll show you how it's done. Well, if you can scare people for the next 24 hours, then you can leave this place on November 1st. That's it? I just gotta go scare people? Bro, this is more like a reward than a challenge. This is gonna be awesome. I accept your challenge, sir. But what happens if I fail? Oh, then you'll be dead and you have to serve me for all eternity. Like these other bozos. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't want to end up like this guy. So... How do I go scare people? I'll send you back to the world of the living. You have 24 hours to scare people. Whoa, what the heck? He just teleported me back to our basement. This is perfect, though. The first person I'm gonna scare the heck out of will be Melon, and I have just the supplies to do so. A jukebox with creepy music. I'm gonna put it under the staircase and activate a song. And then I'll hide over here. Ooh, even better. I'll use these to scare Melon next. Uh, what's that sound? I know it's Halloween time, but I didn't play the jukebox. Ooh, what's going on? Where did all these eyes appear in the house? Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot we added that as a decoration. But this music, none of us did. Neither Sonny nor me. S -S Sonny, are y you home? Sonny is dead. The swamp portal took him. What? Who's there? What's going on? Goats, I'm equipping the drip. There we go. Sonny was claimed by the swamps. Uh, what the? What was that? Who's in my closet? There's some kind of pumpkin monster in my closet. What's going on? Melon. The time is now. No, 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 stay back. Stay away. Stay away! I'm out of this place! Melon. No! I've got to get to... He just disappeared. What the... Uh, I don't like this. I've got to go to Quandale. He's surely got some Halloween-proof base. Goats, I just teleported back to the basement. <laughs> he is so confused, I bet. Quandale! I need help, bro. My house, it's haunted. 
Don't be ridiculous. Ghosts don't exist, Melon. What do you mean? We've seen way crazier stuff happen before. I'm telling you, Quandale, something seriously up. Now, 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 goats. I've picked up the jukebox, and I've got another music disc to play, and I'm pretty sure I heard Melon yell that he's gonna go ask Quandale for help. So why don't we terrorize them both? This should surely earn me points with the big man himself. Gotta sneak in, put the jukebox right behind Melon with the creepy music. Quandale, don't tell me. The music. What's going on? Where'd this jukebox come from? I don't know what's going on, Melon. I'm scared. He's back, Quandale. He's just outside your lab. Please tell me that door is locked. He shouldn't be able to make it through. Okay, as long as he's on the other side, we should be fine. What the heck? Spiders! Why are there spiders? Quandale, help me! Get out of the lab. You're haunting the place. Quandale! I'm out of here too! Whatever! I don't want to be stuck there with the spiders. Even the great Quandale Dingleberry is being haunted. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. Goats, I'm inside a Quandale's lab. And I think it's time I destroy him. The ultimate Halloween prank. Some TNT, Quandale, with your name on it. Enjoy. Happy Halloween. Oh, he's still alive, is he? Ah, I gotta get out of here. I should have gone out with Melon. Leaving so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Go, my pretties. Kill Quandale. Yo, Quandale, you're actually hench, bro. Nobody could kill you, can they? Oh, never mind. He's gone. I guess it's back to messing with my brother. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go far from this town. It looks like Melon's leaving town, which means I've gotta go power up to get even better abilities to prank him. Hey, boss. So far, so good. I killed Quandale Dingleberry and scared Melon out of town. Yeah, that's amateur stuff. I'm not really impressed yet. <sighs> Whatever. Can you at least power me up so I can do some more impressive pranks then? Nope. You're way too inferior for me to give you some power. Get out of my sight. B -b 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 boss look, look what I got for you. Please. I got way cooler pumpkins than that. Ah, uh, dang it. I tried. Hey, over here, Sonny. What do you want? You look totally cooked, by the way. You are really scary. I know I'm scary. In fact, I was so scary. The boss wouldn't let me go out on Halloween anymore. I'm only allowed out on Friday the 13th. Oh, you're that scary monster that shows up every Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's me. But if you want some powers to scare people, I can give you some. Whoa, mimic spawn eggs. Aren't these those evil chests? Yes, they are pure evil and they're perfect for pranking people. Okay, thank you. Time for me to zip back up to the real world and go troll Melon a bit. I'm gonna scare the bejeebers out of him with these. Thank you. Okay, Melanie's Cafe. This is the perfect hideout. There's no Halloween decorations, so that there's no spook here. Uh, surely this place can't be haunted. Oh my goodness, Melanie, you're not gonna believe it. My house is haunted. Quandale got assassinated. Quandale's lab is also haunted. Pretty much the whole neighborhood's haunted. Wow, that sounds spooky. Don't tell me. It's... it's back! No! If I can't run from it, I have to kill it! There's gotta be something here I can use. Uh, is there a sword or something in this chest? What's going on? Ah! Why is this a chest alive? What is this? There's so many of them! No! No! I've gotta get out of here! Well, I'd say that was a successful jump scare. <laughs> Oh, wait, you're not afraid of me, Melanie? What the heck? Well, I guess I got no choice. You brought this on to yourself, Melanie. No. No, my girlfriend! That's it? Nowhere safe. I just have to keep running and never stop. At least until Halloween's over. I've already lost Quandale, and now Melanie. I know who can help me. The police! Please help me! Oh, this is perfect. If he goes in there, he's gonna get teleported! And now he should be in a void of darkness. Uh, where am I? What's going on? Why can't I see anything? He probably can't see anything where he is now. But in a few moments, I will let there be light. What the? Did someone just turn the lights on? It's, it's way too bright though. I can't see a thing again. But this time because there's too much light instead of a lack of light. And now I'm gonna pay him a visit. Time to use the police portal myself. No. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? When I snap my fingers, you're gonna die. No, don't. Please tell me you have no fingers. No! Oh, 
What the heck was that? I must have just been having a terrible nightmare or something. Uh, I'm gonna go sleep at Melody's. Although, I'm pretty sure everything that just happened was real. But wait, I know. If Melody's still alive, then everything that happened was just a nightmare. Melody? Melody is alive! Oh, thank goodness I just dreamed all of that. Oh. Melanie, it's such a relief to see you. You have no idea. In my nightmares, you died. Oh, well, I did almost die from that pumpkin man. Are you telling me that actually happened? Wait, what's that sound? Melon. No, no. What's going on? What's happening? There's no escaping your fate. Yeah, there is. Through these doors. Oh, you blocked them off, too. Do me a solid. Hang on to this, would ya? Uh, what is that? What is that? Melody, run! Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's so many zombies! Let me out of here! Please! No! There's too many! Another successful scare. <laughs> I think it's time I level these up a bit, though. I gotta go visit the boss. On second thought, before I visit the boss, I've gotta do something that'll really wow him. Time to rob a bank! Maybe he likes diamonds and emeralds, too. Because everybody likes getting rich. Come on. Here it is, the bank. My plan better work. I've got a bazooka and a night metal axe. I look scary. <laughs> Why are there so many police waiting here? I did not expect that. Well, sucks for them. They probably didn't expect me either. I'm literally your worst nightmare. Just give it up. Oh, I feel kind of guilty now. Oh, well. Those guys have seen better shifts. So have these villagers. Now, where's the money? I hope I didn't just destroy it all. Oh, there, there's a little bit of money in there. What about the diamonds? Maybe they're downstairs. Yeah, they're probably in the protected vault, which is right in here. There they are. The riches. Oh, yeah. This is going to impress the boss, no doubt. I'll even bring him an ATM. Diamonds. And you know what? I'll bring him a couple of emeralds, too. Maybe? Are there emeralds? Never mind. He's going to have to just be happy with the diamonds. Diamonds. Ahem, excuse me, boss. I've got something that's really gonna blow you away. Shut it, Sonny. I don't care. Aw, man. Fine. I'll just ask this dude. Excuse me, creepy guy. If I give you a thousand diamond blocks, will you give me some upgrades so I can do some more spooky pranks? Sure, Sonny. For a thousand diamonds, that's crazy. Sonny, don't do it. Come back here and talk to me. Oh, uh, what is it now, boss? You didn't tell me you had a thousand diamond blocks. Oh, now you're you're interested. Here you go, diamonds for days. Yep, I got a lot more where that came from. Oh, look, I even got you an ATM. Oh, uh, sorry about that, boss. That's cool. Just give me the diamonds. Sure thing. Diamonds for days, diamonds for days. My wife is gonna love this. Thank you. Whoa, what is this stuff? Well, I gave you some clones of melon, except they are horrifying. Also, I gave you a special clock that will let you freeze time to scare him. This is gonna be awesome. Thanks, boss. I won't let you down. And more importantly, I'm not gonna end up like one of these minions. You're setting me free after this. Yeah, sure, Sonny. Good luck. All right, goats, I've blocked off my door, and no matter what, I am not leaving my room. There's no way I'm gonna be haunted by that pumpkin anymore. And it looks like the boss sent me right back to the neighborhood. And Melon's just hiding in his bedroom? Oh, this is perfect. Check it out. I'll do a little bit of parkour. Get up onto the roof. Oh, this is perfect. Break his window and horrify him. What's that sound? No! Hello, Melon. I've made it inside. Oh no. Why did I block off my door? What is that? No! I got a dip! I got a dip! <laughs> no matter where you go, I'll always follow. Ah! I don't like this. I don't like this. Guys, where's the last place you'd expect me to go? Back inside. No way he'd see this move coming. No! Melon! Going somewhere? This house is now mine! Okay! What is even wrong with you? What do you want from me? I want you to go to the tippity top of the hottest volcano in the world. If I do it, will you stop? Haunting me! No, I definitely won't. And even if you say no, I'm just gonna freeze time and take you there. Wait, what? Unfreeze. 
<laughs> Welcome, Melon. What is this? What? Why am I on the top of a volcano? Because I thought it would be a fun place to scare you. And if you dare move a single muscle, I'll freeze time and put you in the lava. Well, then, uh, do you see that over there? I'm not falling for it. Do you see these right here? What is that? These are my friendly neighborhood pumpkins. They're here to look after you. Okay. Uh, just please don't detonate them. Oh, you already knew these were TNT, did you? Yeah, it's so obvious that they're TNT. Just, just leave them as TNT, please. Fine, fine. I won't detonate them, as tempting as it would be, because you're gonna detonate them. <laughs> no, I'm not. If you don't do it, I'll freeze time and put you in lava. Oh, yeah? Dang it! Fine, I'll detonate them! What is this even gonna do? You're about to find out. You're gonna be in a nightmare. Look, I detonated it. No, you didn't. No, no, no. Hey, one more time and I kill you. Okay, it's detonated! Uh... Wait! Candies! Candies for- <laughs> Oh, that couldn't have gone any better. He was so excited for the candy. And then he died. Well, time for me to freeze time and bring him back here. Welcome back, Melon. Dang it, I'm back here again! And look at who's here with you. Melanie? He caught you too? Now, Melon, you have to make a choice. An impossible choice. Um, okay. I do like Taco Bell better than McDonald's, yes. That has nothing to do with the choice. You will decide who lives and who dies. It'll be you or Melanie. No, this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I'm so sorry, baby. But I have way too much to live for. See ya. Bro, that's crazy. I'll miss you. That was a little bit unexpected. I thought you were a bigger man than that. Obviously not. Sonny, it was you the whole time. Wait, how do you know? Wait a second, I'm back to normal. And it's daytime. I guess the boss loved my prank so much that he removed the curse. Oh yeah, Melon, I'm totally sorry about all this. I had no choice. I had to scare you until the boss was happy. No, it's fine. You made me kill my girlfriend. Pranked me tirelessly throughout the night. It's fine. I, I also had to do this, Sonny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, where'd you get the bazooka? I was gonna do that! And that's the story of our Halloween. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.